So the little neighbor girl yelled over to me and she wanted to see if I could fix her little scooter because she likes this. Little razor won't work at all. Right now I got it charging. Her dad said that this used to go red when it was charging and it's now green. Um, you plug it in down here. You're not supposed to try to run it with the plug-in, I guess. So let's do that. And I've got, like, no power there. I twist the throttle. I get absolutely nothing. So just on further diagnosis, just to try things, because we got something that's broken already here. If I plug that in, I get that to light. Sorry if it doesn't show up in the sunlight, but that's lighting up when I put the plug in. And then I hear a little click somewhere down below so to open the seat you just pull the seat I've already pulled one two three four bolts seat pin comes out here's all the goods now what seems to be clicking is that thing with the silver heat sink down there that's the speed controller so it's receiving the power from the little twist throttle it's receiving the signal to go I mean, because I do hear a little click, like a like a relay or something. Um, I see a FS30A. We'll have to open this up and make sure that fuse is good. And other than that, just two little batteries. So there's not a lot to it. We can jump out the batteries at the jumper pack and bypass those and just see what we're going to need here. Fuse is good. I tried tilting it toward the sun, but... It will not focus in midair. It is intact. Just taking a quick look for any burned wires or anything that's disconnected. They got these nice and uh, they look like they use like hot glue or something. Pretty good. Uh, that just lays on there, I guess, keeps the batteries together. So what I'm going to do is... I guess I'll take these batteries. Nah. Yeah, I'm going to just get these plugs off give it some power and see if it can run if we have good batteries is it the batteries themselves let's just rule those out i'm pretty suspicious because if these if these are date codes here it might be from 2020 so that's already four almost five years old so possibly they're just bad batteries got you down in here now what I noticed was as I pulled this, what I thought was going to be a spade lug off, they're actually soldered on. The glue was just an insulator, and they have these wired in series. So this machine is actually 24 volts because this one goes out the positive back through the negative of that battery. So let's just see while charging, what do we have? I'll bring it back. I'll get this set up a little smarter. I just set up in a way that I think will work. Let's see, the charger's on it right now. What do we have for voltage? 27, that's what we would expect. Now let me take that charger off, and I've only been charging it for just a few minutes, so I don't expect these to be topping up a giant battery, but... Oops, that's negative because I had it backwards, but basically these batteries are sitting at even after charging for a small amount of time, less than one volt. We're, uh, let me get my arm out of there, 0. 0.6 volts. I think those things are pooched. They won't hold a charge anymore. I disconnected the clip there. Let's get the little Velcro off of that. The Velcro keeps grabbing it. Anyway, I'll get the Velcro out, pull those batteries up and out. Just double check my measurements there. As the pack is just sitting here. I'm actually getting 4.3 volts for some reason now. That's strange. Why would that be any different than going here to here? Yeah, okay. I was getting a bad reading. But anyway, it's supposed to be like 24 and it's 4, so it's shot. Here's where we're at. 
I got two batteries that test good, used, slightly, almost new. I have the original dead pack. Theirs was soldered, probably comes as an assembly with the, uh, if you were to buy it with the plug already put on. I'm just gonna put the flag terminals, standard flag terminals, and then I'll put a little sealant just in case they do come loose. I'm not sure why they would have soldered those. That seems, that seems a little overkill for a children's toy. Um, but it is what it is. We're just going to cut their soldered ends off and put our flag terminals, female flag terminals, on there. And we're going to make up a pack. I just happen to have this exact batteries that they need. And if anyone watches my videos normally, I have broken my tripod. Hence the shaky and substandard shots. I am doing my best. Got them all crimped. Let's just give them a little heat shrink there. Let's see what we got for voltage. Very difficult without a good tripod. I'll just, that's gonna have to be good. And what do we got? 25.72 volts. That'll run a little kid's toy. I have reinstalled the battery pack. Reconnected it and I even put some sealant on those terminals just to keep them from shorting out I think maybe because the rear tires open Maybe it sprays up water there and corrodes them and then this little thing Just kind of lays in there We'll put our screws back in and test it out See what we got Wildwood. One last test. Turn that off. Plug it in. And red indicator on the battery, not green. So now she's taking a charge. Cool. We'll charge it up, give it back to her.